Hello, Capricorn. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Capricorn, the song that was playing when I was shuffling your cards is called Fall to Pieces. I wish somebody said we were going to lose love again. Got caught up in my head and full of regret. I tell myself this time it's not all about me, myself, and I. You forgive me for last night, but you won't look me in my eyes. Do we push too much? I just can't keep this up. Enough is enough. Is enough. I don't want to give you up. How long until we fall to pieces? It's too much to take. Are we about to break? Can't help but be each other's weakness. We run back every time because it keeps us alive. I know most of the time it's all about me. And when I'm not sober, I never clearly see. I love your mouth, but I hate what comes out of it sometimes. So don't take all the blame. It's half yours and half mine. Hey! <laughs> well, fantasy funk. I feel like that's what it is between you two. I don't know. Y'all tell me. It's like we're trying to fix something that's not right. But we can't help but want to fix it. I do like the fact that there's, you know, not just... I, I like that it's... Don't take the blame. It's half yours, half mine. I do like that. There's, a, there's an air of maturity here. <laughs> What's going on with Capricorn? But, you know, it's kind of like my, the first cake that I ever made, I mixed up the water and the oil measurement. <laughs> so what, whatever oil I was supposed to put I, put, I put the measurement of the water that was supposed to go in there. And the cake was dense, honey. It was terrible. It was very heavy and flat and gross. And we couldn't eat it. I feel like this kind of... <laughs> Like when you two come together, it's like all the right ingredients, but maybe the wrong measurements. And it, and it's like, well, should I just avoid coming together? <laughs> maybe I should stop trying to offer something to this person you know because i don't feel like i'm getting somebody could be very introverted yeah, I don't, oh. the temperance and the ten of wands wanted to come out in the upright and when i tried to pick it up it flipped over okay and i was clarifying the six of pentacles in the reverse so it's like a lack of reciprocity, maybe what I'm doing and what you're doing, or you're not telling me how you feel, something like that. But the, the give and take is not balanced between the two of you. Somebody may not be talking about a missed opportunity. I'm seeing someone make a decision. It's like I'm losing enthusiasm for this. I'm losing hope, you know. Somebody could be a little flighty too or non-committal. Yeah, a lot of unrequited love here. Somebody may be walking away from. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves. There's another desire that someone's holding on to, but they can't. They can't get to it yet because something else here is either still being let go of or... Okay. So there's somebody in the way of this connection between you and someone. And there may be... Uh, air on the caution. I don't know. I, I'm airing... What the hell is that saying? Caution, honey. I don't know. I'm leaning on the side of caution. Is that how you say it? Aaron, Aaron, leaning? Oh. It's something about the two of y'all coming together. <laughs> I 
want to though. I'm, I'm excited about it, but where can it go? Is there like a part of you that knows that I want it, but why can't this thing go anywhere? There's something else. Somebody may still be heartbroken over something else that ended. Or it's almost like There's something here, Capricorn. Something ended for somebody. We got three kings here. Let me see. Somebody's ready to do something. Oh my God, Magician, Justice, and the Sun card. It's like this new start. But it won't start because... Someone here isn't taking action on leaving something that may be broken already. It's almost like what I saw with this person was a tenant, like, was this, it was so fulfilling. It's like the way that this person would do for me, or maybe the way this person looks, or. The shell was my dream guy, right? But there was no service in this relationship, or he was not a good partner. He was not like, I don't know, it could have been noncommittal, it could have been ghosty, flighty, whatever, right? And there was also a problem with communicating with communicating clearly, or there was something here about that too. And it's like, I've lost hope in this, but, and then maybe I'm not even thinking about it anymore. But I ain't moving yet either. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe this person is in this point. Uh-oh. Is this person afraid for you to find out? Or for afraid? If you two come together, who gonna be mad about that? Even if this person has left whoever, or if you have left whomever, is there somebody who would still be mad or who's still a bit in the dark about the connection that you two share? Because <laughs> it looks like somebody's trying to avoid some drama. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. a fire sign here. Somebody could be waiting patiently for someone. Somebody is making a decision to walk away from something that it just, it there's some situations that just can't go nowhere, right? So I'm cutting out this thing that I haven't been successful at. It could be a relationship. Somebody is freeing themselves from a very stressful relationship, but somebody here is... It's like they're trying to avoid someone who's trying to apologize and make shit happen with them. Or are you fighting for them and they're not communicating with you? They're trying to decide something. What's the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. 
It's like they're actively trying to get over something. There may be an ex in your life, too. I see you trying to... Capricorn. The person that I feel like is on your mind is letting go of something else. But there may be somebody else in your energy who is way more calm. It's like you haven't made up your mind about this person either. And it's way more complicated than, you know what I'm saying? Than it, it should be. But you may be not over them. What is it that actually makes you happy, Capricorn? The person that is hard for you to reconnect with right now. So there's waiting. I want to reconnect with this person. This person makes me happy. I feel like that. Oh, yeah. There's even love between the two of you. But somebody wants to know, are you done with that other situation? Are you done with that other situation? Because I don't want to put my heart into this unless you're done. So think about... Have you noticed a pattern in this connection, Capricorn? With this person that you desire to hold on to, but they seem to be a little bit aloof to your offer, or vice versa, take it how I resonate. Are you thinking about, a lot of you have been thinking about moving on, but there's something big that pulls you back. But there's also a I think the more you go against your intuition, the weaker or the, I don't know, the, the more negative thoughts that come in. There's something here that you don't trust, so you need to slow down. Something needs to change here. This feels like an emotional attachment. You two have come together before. Somebody here, I don't know, there's a blockage between the two of you. I feel like there's a person in your life and a person in their life that both of y'all probably still kind of connected to in some way. But you two desire each other. This is crazy. Let me see. I'm not picking up on a lot of emotions that you two have for these past people. I'm picking up on you kind of both don't want to be there. So you may be losing your excitement, your motivation, or your inspiration to pursue whatever this is. The song that's playing right now is called Reasonable Doubt. I feel like you have reasonable doubt. Or, you know, your, your feelings are valid for whatever this is. It's a blockage between the two of you, right? So a lot of you are just wanting to free yourself of it, let go of any control issues, make a decision to walk away. They are, it's like they're purging something right now. They're getting over some disappointment that they went through. I feel like they're getting back on task, like with their responsibilities. They're, they, they're getting this like renewed energy right now, de-stressing, moving on to things that they're passionate about. Um, part of me feels like they're holding back a little bit of their... Um, sexual energy or like that drive that initiative or maybe they're having some insecurities right now because they're seeing clearly that there's a new direction and you know this is just feeling like somebody who's becoming single or who's freshly single there's somebody here who wants to talk to them again but yeah this person just entered a relationship but their person wants to come back but I don't see that happening because in this person's mind, 
that shit over there was not working, right? So this person is sitting in Empress energy. They're not chasing shit. And I don't feel like they, um, yeah, they've given up on some cheating ass. <laughs> Somebody that was wasting their time that kept them feeling trapped. I feel like they are going through this thing where, damn, I realized what the hell I was holding on to. And that was some bullshit. And they're walking away from it. Um... And there's an energy of them wanting to come back. Didn't I say when the time is right? <sighs> when the time is right. So right now, it's like this person isn't very clear. They're not, I don't feel like they're communicating with this person from the past. I, feel, I really feel like, because if this is the same person we've been thinking about, uh, talking about in your readings, it's evolving. The situation is evolving. Whatever they was coming out of or whatever they were in, they're clearly coming out of it. There's, I mean, a lot of major, this person is, um, whoever they were dealing with was some kind of player, okay, who was breadcrumbing them or whatever the case, right? I'm seeing a clear give up on that shit. For this person um but i feel like it's like this person needed a pause because it took a long time for this thing to end i feel like it was very distracting for this person but i do feel like it's over okay the mutual energy between you two is time when the time is right Capricorn, I asked them how they feel about you. We got the Justice, Ten of Swords, and the Strength in the Reverse. Now, what was your last reading? I want you the right way. I feel like this person has respect for you. Sometimes we can't we can't always gauge what a person is thinking about us or what a person, you know, how a person feels about us. But when I see things like this, I say, well, I see somebody who does not want to involve you in drama. I see somebody who at least gives a damn enough to protect you. Who respects you enough to say, eh, maybe not right now. I don't think that's rejection, Capricorn. I wouldn't say that as rejection because I feel like this person is trying to get over something that drained the shit out of them. Right? But they are ending it. They, they, it. Somebody's putting their foot down, whatever this is. They're resolving it. They've been thinking about leaving this shit for a long time, Capricorn. But right now, it's like, I can't accept your offer right now. And this could be the other way around. I can't accept your offer right now because I don't think it's the right thing to do. Somehow, I don't know, maybe... Their person, I don't know. Somebody's afraid that somebody's going to find something out, probably. Ooh, moon in reverse. Because somebody's waiting on your person is what this looks like. It's like... Somebody would be very upset if they found out you were the reason <laughs> that they, they're not with their person no more. Or maybe that's what they would think. You know what I mean? That may not even be the cause. Because it looks like whatever this feminine energy um, is going through, she didn't break up with him for you. Or he, or however it go. He didn't break up with him or her for you or him or him or her. Whatever. They didn't break up with that person for you. They broke up with that person because of them. <laughs> I think what you two share is genuine. They just don't want to do it the wrong way or something. Like, I think this person has more respect for you than to just treat you like a sneaky link. Which is good. It's good. It's not a bad thing. That's a good sign. I feel something wholesome between the two of you. I just think you got started on a sticky note. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's
it happens. Shit, life happens. What are you, what are you gonna do? The universe comes in and, and shakes your world up. You don't know how God gonna answer your prayers. You know what I mean? So let's see. What is the advice for Capricorn? The outcome between the two of you, we got the devil, the ten of pentacles, and the empress. Let this thing end. This person's a little bit guard. I see, I see somebody here is fighting to move forward, but something can't move forward right now until there's like the coast is clear. Right? <clears throat> there's somebody here who who wants to do this the right way. Now I, I want to be fair. You know what I mean? It could be the masculine energy who's emotionally unavailable to something. You know what I mean? And, and she's peeping that. And she's like, well, I want that to be fair, too. Maybe I'm not emotionally available to this. And you're not either. Maybe we've been a comfort to each other. I don't know. But I want it to be the right way. What's wrong with that? Right? Something's not ready yet. Something here is not ready yet. The outcome is you two getting yourselves into a place where you can be comfortable coming together. Or something like that. You know what I mean? The coast is the coast clear. This is the vibe. The advice is the Ten of Swords. Some of you could be, uh, I don't know, something about a rainy morning. It's nice outside. I think I'm going to go out after this reading. Ten of Swords. You're not gonna be right in a you're not gonna be happy in a third party situation, um, Capricorn. It's all about timing with this one. Time for you to open up your heart and truly make a decision, and time for them to open up their heart and make and truly make a decision. Because somebody still wants your person. They are in a lot of regret and they want to come back and put work in with this empress. But you can't get an empress. And think that everybody ain't gonna want her or him, you know what I mean? But this empress is not in interested in connecting. This interest, oh, this empress is interested in you, Capricorn. <laughs> they want you, okay? I think they're just waiting for their heart to heal, you know? They're gonna reveal this to you. They don't want this missed opportunity with you, Capricorn. Ah, just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. Would you want your car? You know, if you if you put a car on, if you if, if you ordered a car, <laughs> let's say you wanted a car and they had to build a car, or you want a house and they got to build a house. Do you want to come in before they put the drywall up? You don't want to move in until the house is done. Give it a minute, Capricorn. Oh, Crosswatcher, whoever this is for. 
Um, I'll leave you with this. Change doesn't require motivation. It requires discipline. And honey, patience requires discipline. Okay, I feel like that's what this person... This feminine energy may be a little more hit to that than the masculine right now, you know, because there's definitely a change that's occurring in this person's life. And I want to be motivated. No, no, no. I want to be inspired, not motivated. I'm an Aries, so I'm very self-motivated. You know what I mean? Like we, we motivate ourselves to, to do the mundane things, to do the things that we don't want to do. But, but when it comes to love or like, I don't know, passions or whatever. I'd much rather be inspired in those areas. I'd rather not be pushed because motivation is more of a push, more of a, um, and if this is about a love connection, this is, this is something that should flow. You know what I mean? So inspire me, don't motivate me. But in, in order to get to that place, it requires a little bit of discipline. And there's something here about timing. So somebody's going to have to discipline themselves until it's the right time. I'm going to say that. The most important thing in this world is family and love. That could be for somebody. But I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.